Hello everyone, and welcome to your 93rd Cocoa Programming Tutorial. In this video, we're going to do some changes on NS Window and NS Toolbar item that relate to Mac OS 11 Big Sur. And this is probably the last recap video I'm going to do for these types of changes. But if you have a specific API you'd like me to cover, just leave that in the comment section below. But from here on out, uh, I do intend to get to some more complicated Mac OS 10 topics uh, that hopefully a lot of you uh, tune into this channel for. So with that said, let's talk about the changes on NS Window and NS Toolbar item. So the first one I'm going to look at is NS Toolbar item. And what I've gone ahead and done is just uh, on a new project, I've dragged in a NS Toolbar here onto the window. And I made a custom item that simply has an icon of the back button. And uh, I just titled it back. The new property that we have on NS Toolbar item is this uh, is navigational or navigational property and it allows you to basically uh, specify to the system that it is a navigational item and the system will put this to the left of the title so we'll see that in just a second and I'll go ahead and run that just so you can see where these items get placed so here we have the uh, basically the title that of this window, which is lesson 93. And then this item here is a navigational item and the system will put that to the left in Mac OS 11 Big Sur. I've also uh, set a property on the color here that I'll show you in just a second. This uh, color item is a centered uh, uh, toolbar item and that actually allows it to be centered in the window. This isn't actually new, I don't think, to uh, Big Sur, but it's just another property that you may want to know about uh, for the purposes of this video. All right, so this is kind of how it looks like. And if I just go ahead and collapse, we can see that I can basically collapse this window. Uh, it'll give me this little indicator automatically to select the items that are available to me in uh, the window as long as I you know, have collapsed them. So that's kind of what it looks like uh, in Mac OS 11 Big Sur. The other change is on NS Window, and I'm just going to go to the NS Window API for a second here, and we'll look up the changes for Mac OS 11. So there's three new properties. One of them is subtitle, the other one is a toolbar style, and the other one is the title bar separator style. And so I've gone ahead and basically given uh, some kind of UI to those three attributes here. So we're going to be able to set the subtitle and change the toolbar style and the separator style. If you want to see the code, it's relatively simple. It's just three different actions that I've hooked up that are either setting the subtitle, setting the toolbar style, or the title bar, title bar separator style. So if I go back to our window here, if I set a subtitle, I can um, put in my subtitle like so subtitle if I could spell and we can see here that we get this little subtitle text below the main title text of the window now there's different window toolbar styles as well so this is the automatic in Big Sur I can have uh, explicitly stated as expanded which is this is the expanded style here with uh, still kind of keeping the centering of this colors and the the back button is still a navigational so it shows up on the left there's a preference style, which uh, will basically kind of condense them together, which actually uh, doesn't behave the way you might expect if you have the navigational and the centering set up. So I'm actually going to go ahead back and just for the purposes of this video, kind of demonstrate uh, what this will look like if you don't have these items selected as so. So let's go ahead and run that again. And if you change to the preference style, you can see that you actually get the preference style that is um, the content sort of below uh, the title and the subtitle. And you can see also that the subtitle in when you change between uh, these modes, right, the automatic mode keeps the subtitle, I really can't spell, subtitle beneath the uh, title if I'm doing it this way, or if I do expand it, it actually just changes into uh, sort of this uh, same text as the title, but on the right. All right, so this is the preferences style. You can see that all of the toolbar items kind of come to the middle and this is sort of the expectation that you would have if you were working in a preference pane. So that's something you might want to set in that example. Uh, the other one is a unified which is what the automatic style is. It's the same in this case. And so uh, we have the the style. The last one is a unified comp compact style which you can see 
uh, basically just squishes the items and makes them a little bit smaller. So those are the different styles that you have to work with for uh, the toolbar style. The last one I want to talk about is the title bar separator style. And there is an option for line none, where you'll actually kind of drop this whole uh, top section here. It stays there, but it just uh, doesn't have the same color and, and division. And then there's a shadow option. And the shadow option looks almost equivalent to the line. And in dark mode, I almost can't tell the difference at all. Um, but if I command click over here and change my appearance to light, if I kind of scroll into the, where the separator is, we can see the difference. So we have shadow versus line, you can see that the shadow actually goes away in the line version. And so there is a slight difference there, but um, it's hardly noticeable in dark mode as it is. So anyway, that's um, kind of the differences for all these different properties in Big Sur. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave your questions in the comment section below, and I'll see you in another upcoming video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and share it with your friends. Ways to contribute and additional information are in the description. I'll see you next week.